the American cowboy is viewed as a either a loner or a party head. And the reason why people view the American cowboy this way is one, they get the idea of the drifter. The idea that cowboys just drift from one ranch to the next. And that kind of plays into the freedom aspect of cowboying. What I'm talking about is cowboys like their freedom. And ever since the beginning of cowboy ship, aka the Baqueros, Baqueros would work on one ranch to the next. They would go from one ranchero to the next. And what I get from this tradition of moving from one ranchero to the next, and you even look at the the Texas cow punchers who when they moved cattle from Texas up to Montana, they would ride with, with one rancher and then they would swap for the next season. They would go somewhere else where the grass was greener. And so you get the idea, especially from this guy named Will James, of the drifting cowboy. The drifting cowboy, he is not beholden to any ranch man because he knows that his work, his skill set is valuable at a different place. What that does to the American cowboy's image today is it, it tells cattlemen that in order to trust a cowboy, that that cowboy has to commit to some time period of working on the ranch, whether that's through the summer, through the winter, whatever. So generally you're gonna see contracts for cowboys that, that specifically state you will work the entire summer or you break the contract. Like that is the handshake deal that people make with them. And so the American people, they get this idea that American cowboys are loners, that they're drifters, that it doesn't matter where they work in one season because they probably won't be there for the next one. And I would say that's a stereotype that applies to some but doesn't apply to others, i.e. a stereotype, right? That's a stereotype because I've known plenty of cowboys who actually work on a ranch for many, many years and they're great friends with the actual cattlemen and they're able to build a rapport in the community and they actually like having their home base, their home operations be steady. They know what they're gonna get, when they're gonna get it, and a lot of times they manage to work their, their way up from the bottom of the food chain on the ranch to the top. That's pretty cool to me that we view the American cowboy as a loner drifter, but there's actually this entire population of American cowboys who don't do that. The other thing about the American cowboy is people think that they're always seeking freedom, whether that's freedom from society or freedom from work. And I would say that freedom from work isn't true at all because American cowboys literally work some of the hardest and longest hours in the entire country for the least amount of pay. And so I think that when you look at the American cowboy, you should see an incredibly hard working individual an individual who puts their life on the line every day when they tie on and they rope a steer and they say, hey, we're going to figure out what happens today. We're going to see what happens <laughs> when that steer pulls my horse one way or, or the other. Like they, they're literally putting their lives on the line or they're, they're in the, bull or the bullpen and they're moving bulls. Like anything can happen. But the American cowboy is getting out there making sure that job gets done so that the American people can eat. And yes, I know I'm saying American a lot, and it's because I love America. The American cowboy, they're seen as not necessarily as hardworking as others, but I would urge you to, to see them as extremely hardworking. But also the American cowboy is seen as seeking freedom. The freedom to do what, you might ask? Here's their kicker here, all right? American cowboys are not seeking the same freedom that you and I are seeking. I've said this so many times in my videos, I am not a cowboy, nor do I necessarily want to be a cowboy. One day I would like to be a horse trainer and have some cows and, and do that, that type of ball game. But 
when it comes down to it, I cannot put my family through a cowboy lifestyle because they don't make enough money, etc., etc. Anyways, enough about me. American cowboys are seeking freedom, but not necessarily the type of freedom that you and I are seeking. The type of freedom they're seeking is freedom to move in God's original nature along with the freedom that being connected to the earth and animals brings. A lot of people think, oh, I'm a backpacker and I do all these different trails and stuff like that and I camp. That is the same type of freedom of the American cowboy. I would say maybe it's close, but it, it's not the same thing. What I'm talking about is these guys work in some of the most remote ranches in the United States that other people are not even allowed to go on. And they have, they have a responsibility to ensure that animals are being taken care of. And if they're not being taken care of, it's on them. You see, what a lot of people don't understand is that when you take on more responsibility, you're actually freeing your mind you are relinquishing your slavery to dull, monotonous things. You take on more responsibility at work, all right? You become a manager. You're given more money. You're given more freedom to operate within the organization. Well, a cowboy says, I don't wanna be a manager. I don't want the average corporate job. What I want is the freedom to choose my own horse, the freedom to move cows the way I want to move them, the freedom to ride how I want to ride. I want, I want the freedom to be able to, like I said before, the stereotype, I want the freedom to be able to drift from place to place without having to be necessarily tied down to a city, be tied down to a specific ranch. Cowboys are seeking a freedom a freedom of mind and a freedom of place. What they ultimately think is that if they can be free in the mind, free in the place, they can be free in their heart. Being free in your heart is a totally different ball game than being trapped in a cubicle and knowing that, hey, you might be making a lot of money, you might have a nice 401k, medical insurance, but you're not necessarily free in here because you know that if you go talk to your boss a certain way, he might fire you and you might not get another job. There's a cowboy, he understands that the cow boss runs the show. And he knows that if he says, or he mouths off to the cow boss, that the cow boss might say, pack your bedroll and get out. But the cowboy says, that's all right, because I've got our already established another place that, I, that I'm welcome at with my buddies. That is the American cowboy psyche, the mentality. And it's so hard to grasp because it's so different than what the average American sees, sees day to day in their life. The American cowboy is a very minute, a very minuscule portion of America, but yet they are romanticized and idolized by Americans. I'm Brevin Engelson. You're in Broomtail Country. Thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't, make sure you go and like the button. You know which button I'm talking about. And check out the next video, which is all about the South American gaucho. Adios.